Hi there, welcome to the game tutorial class. In today's class, we're looking at multiplication and division of modules. I've already followed in module 4. Okay, so um, just as we looked at in addition and subtraction of modulus, we saw how we had in an hour subtracted where for addition we move to the front, we come to the front on our circle, for subtraction we count backwards, and so on. For multiplication and division, let's see how we're going to solve these questions here. Now, this is the first question. Solution. First, evaluate 2 times 2 in modulo 4. Now, okay, the idea of this is just what? Multiply. 2 times 2 here is 4. Then you find it in modulo. So, what is 4 in modulo 4? That's the. Okay, that's the 0. Okay, so for B question, we have what? 3 times 2. 3 times 2 normally is what? Is 6. 6 in modulo 4 is what? Is 2. Okay, so now we've got that. And when we have 0, 1, 2, 3, the total modulo 4. So 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 2. Okay, so for C question, what do we have? We have 33 times 9. Now, in this case, instead of multiplying this, you can find the modulus of each of them. Then multiply those answers to get the modulus in modulus 4. What do I mean? What's modulus of 33 in modulus 4? What's 33 in modulus 4? I mean, 4 in 33 is 4 times 8 is 32. Remember, uh, 1, I mean, that's going to be 1 times 4 in um, 9 is what? 2. That's 8. Remember, 1. 1 times 1, which is what? 1. In modulus, what? Modulo 4. That's the answer. So you either multiply and find the answer in modulo, or you do it separately, then what multiply, whatever you get, find that answer in what modulo 4. Okay, so then we have the question which is what? 16 times 7. The same thing here. 16 in mode 4 is what? Is 0. Because 4 in 16 is what? 4 in that 0. Times 4 in 7 is what? That's 1. Remember 3. So 0 times 3 here is 0 in mode what? In mode 4. Which implements that what? 16 times 7 in mode 4 gives us what? 0. And that's all for multiplication. For division now, in this case, how do we solve this question? We have the first question to be what? 28 divided by 7. Solution. Now, to solve this question, you have to introduce the variable x. That means I'll have to get x in that case then. So let's 28... Let's 28 divided by 7 be equals to x. It implies that what? 28 is equals to what? 7x. Okay? How do we get that? This is like 28 over 7 equals to x. So cross multiply, we're going to have 28 equals 7x. So it implies that what? 7x is equals to what? 28. Now, in division, we have three methods of dividing. Okay? Where we have the first method as find the modulus. Of the both of them okay in that modulus you know and this one is giving us as what modulo 5 what we evaluate the following modulo 5 so find the modulus of two of them in that modulus then so I can get your answer that's the first one second one is what add the modulus to the right hand side that's add the modulus you are working on to the right hand side that's plus 28 okay the one that does not have X then the third one is divide the both of them, if it can be divided, okay, divide the both of them, it can be divided and then solve. Now, in this case, I can divide, okay, divided by 7, it implies I have what? X to be, X is equals to what? X is equals to 4. Okay, so, after dividing, I have X equals to 4. Now, let's get our X in mode 5. Since it's not up to 5, it means my X is 4. Okay, I'll come over that again. The first method in dividing under modulus is what? Add, uh, you should find the modulus of both. That means find this in modulus 5. Find this in modulus 5. See if you can get an answer for x. If it's not possible, second method is what? Add the modulus to the right hand side. If I add 5 here, what will I get? I'll get 33. 33 cannot divide 7. Or, you know, it is complicated like that. That's the second method. The third one in this case is what? Divide the two of them. If you can divide it, you know, then get your answer. So then you now find your answer in that mode plus. 
Since 4 is not to 5, it means my x is what 4 in modulus 5. Second question is what 46 divided by 11? B, we have 46 divided by what? 11, which is the same thing as what? X, okay? So it means my 46 is equal to what? 11x. It implies that what? 11x is equal to what? 46. Now, for this case now, if I say I was to find the modulus of both of them now, in mod 5, what will I have? It implies that 11 in mod 5 is what? 5 in 11 is what? 2. Remember, 1. So, I have x equals what? 46 in mod 5. You know, 5 in mod 6 is what? 9. Because 5 times 9 is 45. Remember, 1. So, it's equal to 1. In mod 5, it's still 1. Okay, you can see that the other method works here. For C question, we have what? We have 7 divided by 2. Now, for 7 divided by 2, you know, this is equals to x. It implies that my what? 2x equals 7. Okay, after saying 7 equals 2x. Now, for this case, now let's see. If I add 5 to this, what will I get? I'll get 12. I can divide by it, okay? Let me now add the modulus as the other method. 7 plus 5 is what? 12. It implies that what? 2x equals what? 12. It implies that what? x equals what? 6. If I divide both sides by 12. Now, 6 in mode 5 will become what? It will become 1. Because 5 in 6 is 1 in mode 1. So, my answer will be what? 1 in mode 5. Okay, for the question, what do we have? We have 2 divided by 3. For 2 divided by 3, let's see. 2 divided by 3, that's equal to x. You apply that my what? 2 is equal to what? 3x, which implies that what? 3x equals what? 2. Now, if I was to divide, I cannot divide both sides here. Okay, I'll talk about the method. I cannot also find the modulus of two of them because they are not up to 5. So the next thing I'm going to do is what? Add the modulus to the right hand side. Okay? So we have. Um, Three x equals to three. So in this case, what do we have here? Two. Three x. Okay. And here now, in this case, what do we have? This implies that was three x equals what seven. Now, since I apply the first method, it does not work, and I'm applying the third method, I cannot divide this. It means that this solution does not have any value in modulo four. I mean, in modulo five here. Yeah. Does not have any value in module 5. So that's your conclusion. No value in what? Module 5. Okay. Then um, let's see the next question. What do we have? We have 2 divided by 2. So E, we have 2 divided by what? 2 equals x. It implies that what? 2x equals to 2. Okay, now I can divide both sides, have you? By 2. Or I add the module to both sides, you know, which is going to work in this case here. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 here is what is 1. So it implies that what x is equal to 1 in modulo what 5 for this question. Okay. Okay, that, uh, okay, I just did D and F now instead of E. Okay, so whichever. Now, let's assume we're given a question like this. A plus x. A plus x equals 4 in modulo 9. I will like solve this question now. Now, looking at this, if I say x is equal to 4 minus 8, ah, I cannot give a negative answer in that case. Then. What will I do in this case? So, what will I do is, what I will do, I mean, in this case, is actually, it's actually simple. Now, we are working in modulo 9. It means that what? a plus x is equal to what? 4 plus what? 9. One of the methods of division. So, a plus x then will now give us what? 13. So, it means my x is equal to what? 13 minus 8, and that should be 5. So, which invariably means that what 8 plus 5 should, be give, should give us what 4 in modulo 9. Let's confirm. 8 plus 4 is what 8 plus 5 is what 13. In modulo 9, 9 in 13 is what 1. Remember 4. That's correct. Okay, so this is correct then. 